All right. Sorry about the delay on this tutorial. Uh, I was trying to do full motion recording. Obviously, that didn't work. So let's go ahead and try stop motion. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to add lights to the room. It's really pretty quick. Uh, so we'll just set the lights, set the colors on them, and call that a demo. Pretty simple. All right. The first thing you need to do is select the entity tool. It's on the left toolbar. Go ahead and select it. And then underneath your texture uh, menu, there's the entity menu. And you'll notice that there's an ob object drop down. So go ahead and click that. And we're going to scroll through and just select the light entity. But you'll notice all the different entities, anything that you can place, uh, objects, vehicles, weapons, things like that, are found in this entity drop down. So just select light. And now you've got an active light tool. So you can go back to your 3D view. And let's just put five lights in. And we're going to just put them anywhere. We'll, sp we'll space them correctly on the 2D view. So now you've just placed five light entities. So let's go ahead and, and we're going to set the properties of these lights. So you take the one that's selected, double click it. Hopefully. Why is it? Oh, I need to get to the select. Go to the selection menu, double click it. And it's going to give you all the different properties on this particular entity. The only thing that we're going to worry about right now is we're going to worry about brightness. We're just going to set the color. Uh, so click brightness, and then go to pick color. And you have uh, two different things you can go through. You have a, a color wheel, and you also have basic swatches. Just for the sake of ease here, we're going to use swatches. And so just assign particular colors to each one of the lights. And you'll need to go back and double click the light, pick the color. I'm just kind of picking any old random colors. Mm, let's make that one yellow. And the last little one in the back. Okay, later you'll be able to set the intensity of the lights and, and start working with some of the dynamic lighting. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is move your lights so that they're set in a way that you want to. And so you can just, from the 2D view, select and drag it. And then you can do kind of precision placement of your lights. Uh, the reason I think it's best to just kind of spawn your entities at the beginning is you can place them with your fine tuning a little bit later. And with that, you have now just placed five lights in your room. You've